We got a vehicle accident. Motorcycle versus vehicle. Motorcycle versus a vehicle. I like the rest of 2020. We're on scene. We see one uh, patient laying on the ground with the establishing uh, 13. Big command. Uh, get the bad boy. I'm going to go with that. So we got a motorcycle rider that's laying on the ground. Uh, doesn't look like he's moving. He's talking. His what? He's talking. He's He's talking? Yes. Okay. What happened? The car he, jumped out in front of him. Yeah, the car just turned in yeah, front of him. Yeah, the car jumped out in front of him, and he tried okay. to pull yeah. him, and he just went to His, tumble. Got it. OK. All right, try not to move. OK, we'll be right, here, right back. He said he wanted to go to the VA, too. OK. A lot, a lot of we're assessing one adult, kind of male patient. One adult Hey, get the monitor off. Get the monitor off. No, you need to slide down some. Did he have any loss of consciousness? No, I, I need him to slide down some more. OK. okay. You got the board? Yeah. One, two, three. two, three. All right, that's good. You can put that arm down. Okay. Put that arm down. OK. All right, so what happened? Yep. So I was riding, and the car jumped out in front of me. And yep. I don't think he saw me. Uh, let's put the seat collar first. Oh, yeah. And I slipped and went down. OK. Other way. Uh, other way, other way, other way. Okay. Nope, other way. Are oh, you yeah, having a hard time breathing at all? I got it, I got it. I got it. My arm and neck hurts. My leg hurts. Okay, so you have pretty good abrasion on that arm. Yeah, fine. It's just some stuff. All right, you can put that right arm down. Yeah. Put that right arm down. Okay. Put it down. Yeah, okay, okay. It's coming down, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, can you tell me what year we're in? Uh, 2020. Okay, how about the month? Uh, what is this? This is September. Yeah, okay. Good job, man. All right, do you know where you were heading? I was going home. Okay, all right, so this is what's gonna happen, man. Okay. Uh, how come you keep on putting that arm down? Yeah, it hurts. Oh. Okay. All right, so this is what's going to happen. Uh, we're going to finish strapping you in. It's all precautionary, precautionary okay? Uh, yeah, went... yeah. How bad is my we have... Uh, I I don't really care about the bike right now. I understand, but my main concern is you, buddy. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. It's a good thing that you were wearing. Hey, let's bring that uh, helmet with us as well. That's my. Yeah, we'll tell you. Got a tape? Okay. Everybody ready on three? One, two, three. Did anybody see that car? It was a black car. No. Is this still here? The car? No. The car. That hey, out in front of me. Try to look straight. Okay. Try not to move your head, okay? okay. That's yours? Yeah. Okay. Helmet? Right. Yeah, I need the helmet. What we got right now is a two vehicle accident. Uh, our lighter trucks on scene. They're advising there's heavy, heavy damage to one of them with a, with a confirmed patient in trap on the inside. We got a rescue and a second rescue responded. A DC responded with us also. It's in a pretty. We get a pretty significant amount of accidents here from time to time. So uh, we're gonna get our truck as close as we can because we're the heavy rescue. We're gonna drop our tools on the ground. We're gonna start uh, a little joke around our department is we're gonna start cutting and strutting. Roof needs to come off. Don't worry about this. Roof needs to come off. Let's uh, go from here. You can get a full reset. No further hazard. Closing out Fox Truck 2. Hey, bud. Hey. Roof completely off. Let's take everything off this car. All right. You got pretty good intrusion. 
Once we get it, let me get this door out of the way. Let's see if we can cross ram it from here to here and push that off over. And to go from there, once you push the door off, you may just go ahead and do a side out from the back. Let's get this off. Out. Let's go ahead and get this off first if you can. Cutters down. Copy. Hey, they already called trauma alert. Oh, yeah, call it. Just one right now. We need a couple sheets so we can cover the person up. Hey, oh, our BG. Yeah, give me a couple rams out here. We're going to have to crawl through them. Alright. And AO! Hey, oh. Get the saws off, start taking those posts off on that far side. Can you spread this up? Hit the hit the hinge in the bottom of that, and that'll open it up where we get today. We get right to it. Hey, make a debris pile over here between the, the dump truck and the uh, ASO car. It's the tool, the tools, right, we, right this is coming off, we're taking the whole roof off. Okay, ma'am, drop the arm again so we get the roof out of the way. Go towards you, actually. Take it off that side. Cut, hey, cut. Cut all this off. We gotta watch this glass. Flap it over. Hey, who's got a knife? It'll flap over. It's okay. Hey, spreader. Hey, bring that spreader back around. Nice and flat. We are, ma'am. Okay, stop real quick. Yep, put it deeper in. to an MVC uh, of a school bus, possible woman shot in the leg. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and see what's going on with the patient once we get to her. Looks like we need to stretch it right away. Broken. You need help back here? You want me to go tree us? <sighs> I think we might be good back here. Hey, can uh, you find out if we have more patients, please? Oh, she shot, she shot in the leg. Um, somebody just pulled up and started shooting. Can I get this jacket off of you? Yeah. Why does my leg feel like it's like rotating? Like Because your bone it's is broken. broken. You got a lot of blood coming out there, okay? Am I allowed to be done? You think I'm gonna be okay? Huh? Am I gonna die? No, we're not. We can do everything we can for you, okay? 
This hurts so bad. What can I do to make you more comfortable? Seven on four. Um, I don't know. I got you. All right, you ready? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I got to hold pressure on here, okay? I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Okay. Hey, can we get a driver? We got to go. Okay. I know, I know, I know. I know it hurts. But you're, look at me, look at me. You're bleeding, okay? Mm -hmm. I got to keep pressure on here. Mm -hmm. I know it hurts. How old are you? 20. Can you come hold pressure for me? I got it. My legs don't hurt. This don't hurt. You got a broken femur. The biggest bone in your body is broken. But you're doing pretty good. Somebody call my mom. We'll get on it, okay? Just one second here. We're urgent. One yellow patient on board. How you doing on me? All right. So you didn't know who this was, nothing else like that? Some random person just pulled up next to you? All right. Hello? Talk to me. I know. So was it a bullet wound, or was it from me crashing into the bus? No, you got shot. There, there's a bullet hole there. That's weird as f And then the car, like, kept driving around the scene after the fact. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to have you hold pressure. I'm going to hop out and keep traction while he unloads. And then uh, I'll take back over pressure once we're out. We had a uh, very chaotic scene. There was a school bus that looks like it was crashed into a house. We had another vehicle on pass that that had damage to it. Um, the firefighters pointed me in the direction of our patient who had a gunshot wound to her upper thigh. We checked her out to make sure she hadn't been shot anywhere else. And then after that, um, getting some IV access so that if we needed to give her fluid to bring her blood pressure up or if she needed to get blood here at the ER, they had the ability to do that. All right, we're gonna get out and try to search for this little boy. The, uh, the family is out searching for him. This happens quite often, honestly. Uh, kids wander off, they get lost, and then the parents kind of get really worried and freaked out, but we're gonna try to appease the situation quickly. Mama. Hey, mama. Hey. You're the mama, right? No, I'm the auntie. Okay, there's, there's life going. What does he look like? He He's eight years old. Okay. He's wearing a black and black green. Black and green? Black and green shorts. About how tall? Probably like About, about that? Tall. Okay. Oh, shit. Where was he last seen? Huh? Where was he last seen? Right here. He came to us and grabbed a Coke, and he just walked that way. Was he, does he know anybody down there? No. He just walked that he way? He just walked that way. How old is he? He's eight. He's eight. About how big? No shirt. About how big's the mole? Like, like, like a birthmark on yeah. a temple? So he's an eight-year-old male. He's got a birthmark on his temple. He's got black and green shorts. He was last seen. He came back to uh, the tent, grabbed a Coke, and he walked this way. Probably exploring, maybe playing. Hi, y'all. Have you seen a, a, a small Hispanic boy with black and green shorts walk this way? No, we seen a smaller one that had swimmies on earlier. Okay. Um, yeah, I just went all the way down to the next seat of rental. Nobody's seen anybody. Nobody's seen anybody. anybody. Not of that description. Okay, we're trying to help the parents locate him. Yeah. He's yeah, eight, eight years old. He's got a birthmark on his temple. Gotcha. If you see anybody, send him back this way. There's a little girl down there that just came running this direction, and my friend's holding her. And she took she's her trying back. to help find her family. Wow. Okay. Thank you. All right. Multiple missing children today. What did you just hear about this here? I guess, I guess somebody was holding another little girl that's looking for her family. This is a very common thing that happens on the beach. She's looking for her family? Yeah. Hey. Hey, mama. What's your, what's your mom look like? 
What's mommy look like, honey? What, she, what color is she wearing? What color bathing suit does she have on? The black one. A black one? A black one? one? Do you know do you know where or what what direction they are in? Where's mommy? Can you point? Do you know? Point for me. No. It's okay, honey. It's okay. Show me which way mommy is. It's okay. Hey, hey, calm down. Show me which way mommy is. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna help you. We're gonna help you get to mommy. Show me where she's at. That way? that way? Okay. Okay, all right, come on. Let's walk this way. Thank you, man. Oh, oh, right there. Right there, right there, look. I got the Nathan. Where? The guy in the white shirt. The guy in the white shirt? No. He was, he was just waving. That's not him. That's not him? That's not him. She has black hair. She has black hair. She's talking about mom. Hey, buddy. Are you, are you okay? What happened? He said go all the way You just started walking off and then got lost. You didn't go swimming and, and get in trouble at all, right? You're okay? All right, well, we found you. All right, well, we're going to find you. Thank you. All right, man. I know that was scary. How did you get away? All right. No, no. The boy. All right, we found the boy. The father found his son. Uh, he walked a good ways. We've probably been walking about 150, 200 yards. So that the little boy must have got lost, got scared, and just kept going. But we're, we're glad we got that situation under control. Now we have another one, and uh, we're gonna look for her mother. Her mother uh, is wearing a black bathing suit. That's all we know so far. Oh, Oops, sorry about that. Sorry. Okay. Don't run away from mommy. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Man, was she swimming? No, she was chasing the birds. Chasing the birds. I looked down at my phone for one second, and when I looked yeah. up, I, could, I went that way. Yeah. I mean, one second is all, far. yeah, yeah, one second's all it takes. But luckily, like, this does happen a lot. Bystanders help, we all help each other out, you know what I mean? Ah! What? <laughs> what happened? What happened? What all right. Happened? The patient's been reunited. The mother went the wrong direction looking for her child, and that's where the mistake happened. Child got lost, started wandering. Probably away. But they're all back together. They're crying out of joy. And hopefully they're going to do a much better job being having eyes on them. We're responding to uh, the far east end of uh, the city of Hesperia right now for uh, an assault. Uh, Kat says that there's uh, two stepbrothers and a father fighting outside. We're going to have the unit stage uh, a couple blocks out of the area until uh, the sheriff's department arrives to make sure the scene is clear for us. Uh, so we'll, we'll hold off about two blocks out uh, before we get in there and wait for the law enforcement to make sure that uh, there's no weapons involved. <laughs> Hey, first of all, no, nobody has any weapons or anything, right? No, no weapons. OK, who, who was involved in this? Right here. And who else? Just him. Just him by himself? Yeah. There was no fight or anything? No, there was no fight. He got jumped right behind there, behind the gate. He got jumped by somebody? Yes. Yeah. They okay. hopped over the fence, and they, they got him between the clothes right there. And who were they? I want to say it's my stepdad. He's, he's been stealing car parts from my backyard. OK, so 
you want to say or it was your stepdad? Uh, it was. It was okay. him and his buddies. Okay. All right. Is he gone now? I, I, he's nowhere around. Okay. All right. What's going through? Good answer. My ribs hurt and it's hard to breathe. All right. You tell me what happened? I was hearing noises in my backyard. Okay. So I went out to go check. And as I was walking back up the yard, two heads rushed in my back, in my front gate and caught me right between the back, in my backyard between my corners. You see you said what? They caught me. Who caught you? I want to say it's my stepdad and, and his friends. Okay. All right, what's your name? Green. Mine? Yeah, what's your name? Green. Raymond. Okay, we're going to have someone ask you a question off of the It's you, Brad, bud. Okay, so we're gonna take this young man to uh, the hospital, obviously. Uh, he, he claims that he was in an altercation with his stepdad uh, who uh, came into his property looking for something or some car parts and they got in an altercation. And um, actually he's, he said it was several uh, grown adults. So uh, he could have, you know, a possible fractured rib or something. So we're gonna take him to the hospital, get some x-rays and get him looked at by a doctor. Number of patients. Yeah. Radiology is patients. Yeah, uh, we'll get it out. I'll talk and then uh, we'll sit down. Mm -hmm. You said he didn't lose consciousness at all? No, sir. All right. Okay. Uh, he uh, saying that he heard some noises at the gate and then what do you think? Uh, You having a heart attack? Have you had them before? Yes. Yeah. You have? So you're familiar with the yes. feeling? Okay. Yes. Do you have someone we can call for the dog? If we take her to the hospital by ambulance? Well, well, we can't take her in the I'm ambulance. Not going in the ambulance. Okay. I just want to let you. I, oh, I just, she's staying with me. Okay. Well, yes. if you think you're having a heart attack, it's probably a good idea you go into the hospital to get checked out. I, I don't want for you to, to drive out of here if you're having a heart attack and then you end up going unconscious and causing an accident. It would serve everybody right. Well, no, it's not. That wouldn't be right. It's not like going back. Are you nauseated at all, ma'am? Yes, I am. Like I mean, I back. Please. Well, highly recommend if you think you're having a heart attack that we take you to the hospital. Which that would set you right, but what I worry about is you driving from here and having a heart attack on your way home. If you have a heart attack Whatever and you happens, happens. no, it doesn't. But if you have a heart attack when you're driving and you go unconscious and you're driving, and you cross the center line and kill some innocent people. That's what I worry about. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill them. There's no innocent people. In this yeah, world. Well, yeah, there is. Fine. I'm not going to the hospital. Okay, I, I understand that. We can't force you to go to the hospital. I can drive you home, ma'am. If we're, we, just, we just get you to the passenger side, I can drive your car, we can go home, and the truck will follow us, and then they'll pick me up after. Is that fine? If you don't, because we don't want you to drive, is basically what it is, because if you have an event while you're driving, you can hurt yourself or somebody else. So I'm willing to drive you home, and they'll pick me up right after. And if you're not feeling well, why don't you let us take you to the hospital? You're all sweaty and you're no, hurting I'm like you're. I'm not going to the hospital. This is illegal, you know. What's that, ma'am? Holding me up. You can't do this. Well, it is legal because I'm concerned about your health and your well being of driving down the road. Don't. You're the first person in my life that's been concerned about me. Well, I am the concerned other about you. Well, and I'm. Cared about me a lot. Well, I'm concerned. Engine 22, okay. Mark 204. I, I am concerned. I don't want you to leave here and get in an accident and something happened to you. Have somebody drive me home. Well, we're going to see about that. I'm see, I have the PD coming right now and see if they have somebody can do it. Oh, my God. I'm okay. not talking to any of them. They're not getting in my car. I don't give a what. Okay. They're not getting in my car. I have a problem driving you home if you think you're going to have a heart attack and you want to go home to die. I don't want to have drive somebody home just so they can die. I'd rather take you to the hospital is what I would do. I'm not going to the hospital. Okay, so then I'm gonna let go, then I'm gonna go. let the police department make a decision if you can drive home. Okay. Then you can roll your window up and they can that's fine. So we'll just uh, wait for PD to get here. I have a concern with her driving home. Saying she just wants to go home and have a heart attack and die at home. 
she's clearly under stress or having chest pain and not doing well. So I don't feel comfortable her driving herself across town. So we'll let the police department get here and we'll let them make a decision. If they decide, you know what? It's in her right mind to drive home, let her drive home, then it's on them. So. Two six one, go ahead. Can I get a vehicle description? PD just got here on their they're on scene. Hi. They, hi, they can't hold me this, here. This is what's going no, on, I boss. I don't have to go to the hospital if I don't okay. want to. Well, well, here, I, mean, I can't take my dog there. I'm not going. Yes, ma'am. Here's the deal, though. Okay. If if fire here deems you that you can't drive, they have some concerns with you, then. It's probably best that you don't drive, okay? There's somewhere I can take you? Yeah, I want to go home. I'll, I'll, I'll take you home. How about that? Can you leave your car here for a few minutes? Maybe no. Couple, I, I don't feel comfortable with you driving, ma'am. I can take you home if you like. Where do you live? Cross. I can take you home. It's Engine no problem. 256 no, I, I, I don't for need FBA. a car here. Power it, it's perfectly safe here. I'll talk to management and say that. No. Ma'am, I, I don't feel comfortable with you driving, okay? Just just hang out right here. I'm going to talk to Fire, and I want to see what's going on, okay? Right. Maybe, I'm trying you. to figure out what kind of options we have, all right? Okay. So she so she was inside. She was claiming she was having a heart attack. Okay. And then so when she came outside, she was screaming she was having a heart attack. Someone called 911. We okay. got here. She said she's having a heart attack. Her dog even lets her know she's having a heart attack. She's had a heart attack in the past. Um, she's having chest pain. She was nauseated. She's dizzy. She's sweaty. All little typical things. Okay. Uh, we checked her all. Her vitals are good and everything looks good. We did patch the hospital. And doctor's like, you know, she's alert oriented. She can, re she can refuse, which she has a right to refuse. Okay. My concern was is is her driving home. She said she is, just wants to go she, home. like, showing some signs of, like, she can't drive, anything like that? No, I just concerned about her because she okay. said she just wants to go home to die. Oh, yeah. And she's uh, and she tried to bend because she said she, she says her dog's a service dog, the poodle, yeah. okay. and she gave a paper, it's basically a prescription pad from a doctor saying that the dog has to be with her at all times. Okay. I don't know if that's deemed yeah, paperwork I'll, enough I'll for her. I'll try to see if she, she's going to be stubborn and we'll just party. I'd rather take her home. I don't really want her to drive either. I'll talk to you management here and see what we can do. Yeah, that's the thing is she was, um, I was just worried about it, about her from here to being home. Okay. Um, yeah. Like I said, she bent over in the seat just to try to get some paperwork, she and, she, and she got real dizzy. Okay. So that's Don't what I'm worried about. Can you take a picture of the guy hitting my car, too, now? If there's a dent, you're paying for it. He didn't hit your car. He would just he tap the back. Too. He hit the yeah. back. He tapped the back of your car to no, let you just stop. OK. Yeah. So I I'm really concerned about your safety and driving. I would feel really, really bad if you got on the road and, and got into a collision, ma'am. Please let me take you home. I'll take you home. I'm taking my car. I'll home. even bring you back and get no, your car once you feel a little better. Right now. I, I, I don't feel comfortable letting you well, drive home, man. I'm sorry. Me, that's fine, you know, but okay, I'm how about this, right? We'll figure something out. Maybe maybe an officer can drive your car to your house. We'll figure it out, okay? But I just really don't feel comfortable letting you drive home, okay? So you're not driving home right now. Okay, I'll take you okay, home. Okay, let me tell you something. Yes, ma'am, go ahead. When I need well, a police well, officer, okay. there was not, not sure. one around. I'm sorry When about I that. don't need a police officer, they're all around. I'm sorry you feel that way, ma'am. Is there anything? I mean, I'm trying to help you know. Can you my place and want a donation to the policeman's fund? Okay. No. I'm sorry. Well, I'm here now. I'm trying to help you. Look what happened. Well, my whole what? right side is bruised. Hey, exactly. Your whole right side is bruised. So yeah, that gives right, me right, even more on. reason for me not to feel comfortable for you to drive. That was because that lady in there where I lived, I the apartment building. Yeah. Yeah. She beat me up because I went to see a friend. Yeah, never she beat so me up. Okay, well, I'm sorry about and, uh, that. And the police is nowhere around. When, you're not, when you don't need them, they're all around you. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take you home. How does that sound? Fine. I'm not okay. leaving my car, though. Okay, we'll figure that out. Okay, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Just hang out for me, okay? Oh, hey, hey. Let's see what we decide to do here with the police department. See if they can help us out here. They don't feel comfortable with her driving. I'm telling her, hey, you know what? I'll take you home. I'll take you. I'll drive you home and just I leave just your car here. I'm not you taking my care. I'm like, okay, well, maybe we can get an officer to drive your car home. She's stubborn. She doesn't want to leave her car. No signs of impairment. No signs of impairment, but her whole right side, she said, is bruised up. So, from what? She said she fell. She said she called 911 last week. Nobody showed up. I was like, well, I, I, I find that hard to believe, ma'am. 
where she had Well, she said she fell. Yeah, she, she told, told you brother. that a neighbor beat her up. Yeah, she told me a neighbor beat her up. So she told me she fell. She told him the neighbor beat her up. And you guys never showed up. She's leaving. She, she's back now. Ma'am? Just, hey, just follow her. If, follow her. if you get any clues, pull her over. Okay, well, I guess it's more of a police issue now. It's out of our hands. So there you have it. She just drove off, and the PD is going to follow her home, and they're going to follow her and do what they got to do now. So probably the female, maybe. Did you call? Yeah, right there. All right, where's, are there kids in uh, locked in a car or something? Yeah, with her. Where? Oh, oh, they she's have... driving around with the car. She's driving, yeah. Which they way did she go? Oh, yeah. And so what she... was what was she driving? I don't know very well. It was like a Toyota, a small Toyota. What, what gray? Color? Gray, like gray. Four door like car matrix. or SUV? Like mattress, no, it's a car. It's car. A small car. Small car. Three hundred one to the units okay. responding for that EDP intox with the kids. All right, we'll take a ride. Vehicle that way. was on the move. Uh, with the female that's in tox with the three children last seen going down two six off of 21st out and she was acting crazy with, uh, with the other car she was in the middle of the street yeah then she went to that driveway over there and where does she live do you know no i don't know nothing about her that's, that's her. it okay hey pat okay that's pat. it she's gonna smack into something pat, that's the car right there right there Right That's there, Pat. Yeah, go right on. here, Pat. That's the, uh, that's my captain from the uh, special operations. Right here, Cap Pat. Yeah, Miss, it's, it's right there. Here. It stopped. Come here, Miss. Come here. Come here a second, ma'am. Ma'am. Just hold up. Okay. You have children in the car? Yeah. OK. We're going to shut the car off. 102. Open the door, please. Open. Open the door, please. Open the door. Can you get them to open the door? Open the door. Open the door. Don't do that, you yelling. Can I open the door? Yeah, can you open the door, please? But first of all, you didn't even tell me what you were doing, first of all. Please can you just tell me what you were doing? Yes. Someone called, the woman over there called, okay. and said that you've been drinking and that you're in distress. You have something underneath the front of your car. You're dragging it. And you have three children in the car. We just want to make sure the kids are OK. We want to make sure the kids are OK. Yeah, do what you said you came over here for. We want to just make sure the kids are OK. No, can you just open the car so we can make sure the children are OK? Open the car and the kids in the ignition. What are you talking about? OK, you can deal with her. She's definitely dragging something. I don't know what she hit. She dragged something. She hit something, Pat. You know? Right here. In case if they hit something. Definitely hit something that the fender's under. How old are the children? Well, this one is old enough to know. Gotta try and get him to open it. Please open the door. Honey. Yeah, we want to help you, ma'am. We have an ambulance coming. We have an ambulance coming for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We just want to help you, honey. Come here. Are you good here, sweetheart? Yeah. No, 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 no. Officer. Thank you for it. We're transporting. Receive that for your transporting. Right now, we have an a person that's in distress. We have four children in the car. 
We're taking her to the hospital to get medical clearance because obviously the vehicle's been involved in an accident. We're going to park it on the side for now. Officers are going to, the ambulance is going to transfer her, transport her to the hospital to get medically cleared and checked out. The children are going to be taken by an officer to the hospital and everything will be fine. But we have to do this for her safety. What's that? You got it. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Nice to see you. It's great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go, guys. There you go. There you go. Right in the ambulance. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Come on, sweetheart. Sweetheart, come on and get in the ambulance. Come get in the ambulance, OK? Come on. You know what? We're putting them in the ambulance. It just makes it easier because this way the kids don't get frazzled and think she's going to jail. She's going to get medically clear. So this will be a, a good situation. We're trying to help her, and we don't want the kids to be scarred as a result of it. And then we'll move the car, and everything will be fine. She'll go down to the hospital, and the kids will at least be with her. What do we got, guys? Something's on fire, but something's missing. Pull a booster, booster line. And what that is hissing. Help him with a booster. I don't know what it is. Oh, it looks like a rubbish. Something's hissing. I don't know if there's a propane tank in there or what. <clears throat> Sish one, please. Let's see what that is. It smells like. I don't know what it is. Uh, there's, that's what. Here's what we're hissing. Torch. Who was cooking or using that I did have a little, uh, fire pit, a little fire and it was unattended? Yeah, I was sleeping, but the little monster came out and uh, was monkeying around with it. OK. All right. What do you think he was doing? I need to talk to him and find out exactly what he's doing. Alright. Yeah. Well, you know you left an unattended fire with a miner. You know? Well, yeah, you left it unattended. No, I mean, I was sleeping. No, you left it unattended. No, right? <laughs> okay. There was uh there's some propane torches and stuff like that too, so I don't know if the kid was playing with that stuff or not. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna need to find out exactly what he did and what happened. So this looks like we might have a juvenile that started this fire. So. Yeah, I just, Morales, Kehoe, you guys just hit this really well. I got to get my paperwork, and it's, I think this is a juvenile started this, so okay. let me get that done, and we'll get out of here. I don't think he was getting what I was saying. <laughs> so, so I gotta get my photos and, and figure it out. I mean, the kid's three. I mean, you know. Right here. That's what you play with? 
I'm still venting too. Oh, I had an auto igniter. Did you push the auto igniter and light it? No? Yeah, it's still, it's still gassing. Okay. Yeah, you're okay. You can go to your grandma. And you lit the couch on first? And then you just, and then you ran away? Yeah? No, you watched it? What did you do when you lit the fire? I know it's hard, but you're three. I get it. Have you ever seen them light anything before or anything? No? What concerns me is that there was a fire unattended. I mean, he said that he fell asleep or went to bed and left at the fire. And then there's stuff for him to play with all over this area, you know? So, I mean, there's... Jamie, get over here. You're responsible. Well, I don't really need to talk to him yet. I'll get more information from you than I will him. And he's the father? Who's... Uh, who's the legal guardian? He's um, go at work. He'll be home go Okay. And where do, who lives in here? He does, and sometimes uh, his daughter. Okay. Sometimes his daughter's mother. Okay. So then he, so he lives he with you in the house. In okay. House. Okay. And what's your address? Okay. Okay. What really concerns me is that we got lucky. It's not windy out. If it was windy, this would be a whole nother issue. This is, there's a lot of rubbish and a lot of stuff here that would have caught fire. This salt sear is like kerosene. It lights up quick. Um, and then look at all the materials and trash and stuff all through this property that's pretty bad. This could have been pretty bad scene if it would have been windy, you know? It didn't start by this. It started by him lighting it on the couch on fire. You could see right where it started, so. Responding to the report of a vehicle accident uh, with possible entrapment on one vehicle. We're being told. So we have confirmed entrapment. Uh, we're being told single vehicle into the trees. And we have law enforcement arriving on scene confirming extrication. Lodge with District 6 is on scene. Got a two vehicle MVA, one vehicle blocking Parker Road with heavy damage, second vehicle into the trees. The investigative mode will be establishing Parker Road command. He is entrapped. Okay. Hey, partner, how you doing? Doing well, sir. Good to do this. All right. You know what's going on today? Yes, sir. I was okay. driving west on 20th Avenue. Came to stop. Okay. Came forward, and then uh, somebody hit me. Did you get knocked out? No, yes, sir. You remember everything? Yes, sir. Okay. Once you just hold tight, I'm gonna go check everybody else. We'll be back with you. Okay. Rescue 62. Two minutes away. Mr. Crow was aware we were trying to prove members to station 62. Yes, it should be. Nobody else is in the car. Everybody's out of this vehicle? Yes, everybody's okay. out. We're all right here. All three of you are? Your granddaughters and okay. me. You were in this one? Yes. Are you hurt at all? I'm, my chest is hurting Come and in, my go ahead. ankle's hurting. Okay. 10 minutes, I know. 2115. Merci. Are the kids hurt at all? Yes. Okay. Hi, guys. What's going on? Where are you hurting at? Your neck? OK, I want you to just hold tight for me, OK? Latchwa, Park Road Command. Park Road Command. We have a total of two pediatrics, two adults that are complaining of injuries. Quinn 23, if you'll come to the vehicle directly behind your truck and evaluate the two pediatrics and one adult here. 
White, yeah, white truck. You got two pediatrics and uh, one adult that need to be evaluated here. This guy up here is has no medical complaint right now, but we're going to have Papa Door to get him out. How you doing, partner? Doing well, sir. You still doing okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So give me just a minute. We'll get you out. Yeah, we'll we'll pop the door. He's stable right now. What's your name, partner? Michael D. Mike Heilman, sir. Mike, are you hurt anywhere? Uh, I feel like my ribs and my left arm. Your ribs, but, okay. Yeah. All right. Give me a favor. Take a deep breath for me. Does that hurt to take a deep breath? Not really. No. Okay. Anything in your neck hurt? No, sir. Okay, how about in your head up here? No, sir. Okay, did you hit your head at all? No, sir. No? Okay. I might have tipped it, uh, I, I, I clenched down on my tip Just okay. one patient here? Chief. Just one patient, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, like I said, I'm look, he's looking for my wallet, so. Okay. When I put my hand down, uh -huh. uh, there must have been a piece of glass. Oh, right, like right uh, there. Yep, okay. There, there was another piece of glass. Okay. We're gonna be popping that door, so just, uh. Take your time. Be careful, okay? I don't want oh, you yeah. to be scared for us to pop that door. No. So you know uh, what city you're in right now? I mean, technically in uh, Archer because that's my, okay. my, my house is right there. Okay, good. That's my spouse right there, probably. All right. So just hang tight. We're going to get that door open for you, okay? Squad 23, go ahead, quick 23. Squad 23, come to the front of the Quint. I'm going to have you pop this door on the blue vehicle. We have one patient in the driver's seat. Squad 23, copy, pull in front of the command. Engine 80 is on scene, reporting command. Engine 80 on scene, reporting command, 21 17. Squad 23, we'll need your spreaders. I need y'all to help with the white vehicle that's up there. Christy, 21 on scene. Uh, not the white pickup truck, but the one right behind it has two pediatrics and one adult. Negative, need to be evaluated. Where you need us to uh, come in. Yeah. <coughs> neck pain, seatbelt burn on the side of the neck, hip pain, her left ankle pain. Uh, Bruce did the range of motion test. I'm not sure. Okay. Got all that. And then um, Grandma is having seatbelt pain. She's she got she, ankle. She also thinks. I can just take them. If, if that's sure? okay, if that's recommended. I don't know. This is so, new to me. I don't. So here's the deal: is they're underage. And your mom, yeah. so you basically make that decision for them. We, on um, everybody we come if it in contact was your to, child, what would you do? <laughs> oh, and I got two little girls too. I know. I just um, I don't know. I, don't know I, I of course would want the best for my children as I would want for yours. And they monitor. I recommend them go get checked out. I'm now, gonna take them. If you take them or you want us to take them, we have the resources here that we can just take them. That's fine. You with can me. ride that with them if you would like. Um, but they if they're complaining of neck pain and all that stuff and then it's I a would significant feel more, I it's would a feel more comfortable, I think, if you if they're monitored. That's perfectly acceptable. Personally. I mean it's a pretty significant hit. Yeah, I know. So I know. We have the resources available to go ahead and load them up, take them to the hospital. You're more than welcome to ride with them because you're mom. Okay. And you will get to ride in the back with them. Okay? Alrighty. But if they're complaining of that, those injuries from an accident like that, yes, I, I highly recommend it. Uh, baby, I'm right here. Mommy's right here. I'm not going nowhere. Mommy's here. Okay. So if you would like that. to do that, yes. we can get them loaded up. What's going to happen is... And you're probably going to have to help us keep them calm, but the one with Mike Payne is going to get a C collar and, and all that stuff, okay? Okay. Just continue to know, so I'm just back. All right. So, what do I do with my car? With your car? Or is she going to talk? Well, she could probably drive it if she's okay. That's not a problem. No, mine. No, her car, her car. That, yeah. Or if you have somebody to come pick it up or something like that. Um, if you want your mom to drive it, that's fine too. Yeah, she's okay if she's not shaking up too much. Yeah, no, I understand. But we definitely want you to at least ride with uh, the babies. I you, want you know?
they give her these bottles for that feeds. Okay. And he's getting So basically, this run, we're getting called by our police department for an assault. Uh, sounds like somebody's got an injury from that assault. They're reporting uh, the victim has a bruise in the back of the head. Times the brick, the back of her head here. She's got a pretty good gush of blood coming out. So. You got the light. Yep. How you doing? What's your name? Okay. Do you remember everything that happened? What happened? Can you talk to me about it? <laughs> Sounds like you were hit a couple of times. Do you remember what he hit you with? A brick. It was a brick. Okay. Do you want to go to the hospital? Are you okay with that? All right, I'm going to get an ambulance coming your way. Okay. Do you remember everything that happened? I couldn't find the Okay. Did you know this person? Okay. All righty. We're going to take you right down the street here to St. V's to get you checked out, all right? You're doing all right. All your vitals so far are really good, all right? It looks like you've got a little bit of blood from the back of the head. You might need some stitches. They'll take a look at it further at the hospital to get you further taken care of, okay? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> you seeing okay? Any any uh, blurred vision or anything like that? Just feel nauseated. Just feel nauseous? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take this off okay? <laughs> All right. Alicia, you said you remember everything that happened, correct? Yeah. Okay, good. Are you got a pressure on her? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't see anything. Yep. Yes, we currently have medic 18 en route to our our location. We're on scene with a 36-year-old female. She's alert and oriented times four. Chief complaint today is uh, headache. She was assaulted by another person, did not lose consciousness, answering all questions appropriately. She, um, she states she was hit with a brick to the back of the head three separate times. I said no loss of consciousness, doesn't have a laceration to the back of the head, no other pain or complaints, no dizziness, uh, just complaining of a headache at this time. The bleeding is controlled. All vitals are stable. Uh, Medic 18 is arriving on scene right now. Do you have any further questions or orders with an ETA of approximately three to four minutes? That's affirmative. Vitals are stable, answering all questions appropriately at this time. All right, we'll see you upon arrival. Be clear. 17, okay. You all right? Lucas County, 17, square the med. So we ended up with one patient, minor injuries. Uh, we'll get her in the ambulance, get her transported to the hospital for treatment. Mm -hmm. So right now we are heading to a possible auto versus pedestrian. It is a border call, so if it's on, it could either be on our side or the Victorville side. There's units responding from both agencies. Uh, it says patient is able to speak and see, so that's a good sign. But it does say 35 year old male conscious breathing, bleeding from his head. Oh, it's on 
On your left leg. Oh, it hurts over there. Your left leg is the one that hurts? That one's squeezing. Yeah, squeezing. Ow! Okay. Can you feel this? Can you feel me down here? Yes, but I feel right. snow. Hey, do you remember where you were at prior to being hit by a car? Were you in the street? Were you, what were you doing? I'm going to get in here, dude. Huh? I don't know. You don't remember? Can you straighten this arm out for me? Hand me a turn, uh, start kit. He's been a little repetitive. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. You got to keep the light down. All right. You guys ready? Yep. One, two, three. A little bit. Is it going to hurt me from claustrophobic? No. Okay. The helicopter's just tight, that's all. Landed. Oh, is it gonna bother? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. From uh, information we got from the driver, say he's going about uh, 15, 20 miles an hour, but we do have some uh, pretty significant uh, front end damage considering the speed. From what the uh, driver said of the vehicle, said the subject was out unconscious probably about uh, five to 10 minutes prior to our arrival. When we made contact with him, he was laying on the ground in front of the vehicle. Uh, he was altered with repetitive questioning. Other than that, physically on the rest of the uh, observation and the physical assessment, he didn't present with any significant injury, uh, but he did have a significant lack, uh, probably about an inch and a half full thickness to the front of his head. So at this point, uh, because of our area and the region we're in, we requested a helicopter, which is gonna be transported to a trauma center down the hill. They're about uh, 15, 20 minutes away. So our ambulance, as well as the squad, are going to follow up to the hospital where they're landing the helicopter. From there, they're going to send them to the trauma center for definitive care and treatment.
down. He hit that wall right there. Man, open here. I didn't, he didn't hit anybody, did he? It looked like no, he just kind of crashed the building. It hit that wall. Uh, it appears, and we heard him at the fire station, that there was a pursuit involving this car. I don't know if there's another car involved. I'm just looking at the mechanism injury. It looks like they came, skid, hit this wall, and came off and ended up coming to a stop up here. It appears there's no injuries. But it also appears that uh, the driver may have gotten out and fled. I'm going to go talk with the uh, officer right now to find out. <clears throat> okay. Command is fanning for I'll terminate command, release the fire ground two. It's going to be rescue EMS service. No injuries reported. Two men of fire scene, fire ground two, clear at 2355. We'll take that structure fire call. Hey, let's go! Two men of fire scene, photo fire ground three. Structure fire! Fire. Fire ground three. Okay. Hold on, I'm turning around the street okay. here. I'm in MLK. MLK and what? MLK and Victory. It's a family dollar. Engine 3 is responding. Crow Cross is responding. Chris Ward is responding. Engine 3 is responding. Right here. Here's the pain. Engine 3 is Savannah Fire. We got our own hydrant as well. Yeah, It's a dumpster. Have you taken command yet, Cap? Yeah, we're here at Exchange and right here in between the Melbourne and Melbourne. It's a dumpster. We got a dumpster fire. Proceed, come on, both things. Engine 6 is all, sir. Engine 
an open area of trash or a dumpster fire. Got here and it looked like their uh, recycling side of uh, the dumpster had ignited somehow and uh, caught the other dumpster on fire. So crews are just working, knocking it down. They'll pull all the debris out, make sure everything's uh, soaked. Uh, no possibility of extension. Uh, it's out and about, it's out secluded by itself. So we're good as far as uh, damage to the building or whatnot. So normal dumpster fire doesn't have that much fuel load, but you know, it's around Christmas time at a store that does a lot of business. And you'll see all the wire racks. So they've got all their cardboard from our packaging. And um, that's what was on, or that's mostly what was on fire. But uh, it's, it's just a lot of fire just because of all the, the cardboard from Christmas. Hey guys, I'm Matt Eisman from Live Rescue. Subscribe to A&E for more videos and catch full episodes on AETV.com.